So let's add 5 eighths and 9 sixteenths. Here's how you do it. What we need is to have our denominator to be the same, have a common denominator. Because if the denominators are the same, we add the numerators, and then we just bring the denominator across. So why don't we do this? Why don't we say 2 times 8? Because 2 times 8 is 16. We have 16 here already. We'd be good. But we can't just multiply the denominator by a number. We also need to multiply the numerator by that number. In this case, 2 divided by 2, that equals 1. So we're just multiplying by 1. We don't change the value, just the way it's represented. 2 times 5 is 10. 2 times 8, that's 16. And 10 sixteenths, that's an equivalent fraction to 5 eighths. They have the same value. But now we can add that to our 9 sixteenths here. And because we have the same denominator, we add the numerators. 10 plus 9 is 19. And then we have 16. We just bring that across, our common denominator. And 5 eighths plus 9 sixteenths is 19 sixteenths. This is an improper fraction, though, because 19, the numerator, is larger than the denominator. Let's change it to a mixed number. Let's see, 16 goes into 19. 1 times 16 is 16, and then we'd have 3 left over. Keep the 16 here across, and 5 eighths plus 9 sixteenths, that equals 1 and 3 sixteenths, or 19 sixteenths. That's how you do it. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.